Hare Krishna, everyone. We're on our flight. In fact, just leaving from San Francisco Airport. I'm with my wife, Miraku with Devi Dasi. And we're on our way to Sri Vrindavan Dham. This is the sacred place that we go at least once a year. So we can spend time focusing on the practice of devotional service. It already feels right. Although there's a million things to do and unanswered mails, still one has to take care of oneself so we can take care of others as well. And we're looking forward to being in touch with you from the Holy Dom. Please take care, nourish your soul, take care of your bodies so you can be there for everyone else. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Greetings from New Delhi, India. We are staying at the home of some very dear friends. When I say dear friends, last night we got into New Delhi airport at about midnight. And by the time we were out of immigration customs, it was 1 a.m. and they came and picked us up and fed us as soon as we came in, even though we weren't that hungry. Coming through the airport, at the customs, there's a red lane and a green lane. Red means you're carrying something that you have to pay for. Green means you can walk through. Guilt-free, you don't have anything that you have to pay a tariff on. I was thinking how when we carry desires in our lives that are not so good for us, there's a tax on us. It slows it down, slows us down. Sometimes we're even turned back. For some kinds of contraband that come through in the red lane or the green lane, when we try to get through, we can even be detained for that. It's illicit. So when we're able to live cleanly and have desires that are high-minded, that is, they're for service, then we can walk through the green lane, no stopping, no guilt. It's only our carrying of various kinds of desires that are out of line, out of harmony with our divine source. And when we're able to line them up, life becomes easy. And if there's a flow that we notice right away in our lives. It comes from the inside. I'll try to keep you posted as we're traveling, but so far it's an extremely enlivening and enlightening experience. I'm just about to get called for lunch. The hostess of the house has been cooking for us and we're very happy to have a hot cooked meal here at the home of our dear friends. Hare Krishna. Hope all is well.